How do you do? How the hell are you? Hey, I got a beer I've never had before. It's Ethos IPA from Tall Grass Brewing Company. So I'm going to ask you to bear with me for a second. So I pop this. I'm going to pour it. And then I'm going to take a picture real quick because, well, I thought about pouring before taking a picture and then starting a video, but I wanted you to see me pour this bad boy. Pouring it into my Imperial Pint here. Uh, cans. Uh, Tall Grass does an all can line. I've kind of gone kicking and screaming into the craft beer can revolution. Um, at first I was dead set against it, but now I'm kind of warming up to the idea. Uh, there are some breweries that are doing fine can lines. Uh, Tall Grass, um, Piney River. Tall Grass isn't exactly local. Manhattan, Kansas is about four hours from here. But I'm thinking it's close enough. I'm going to call it somewhat local. Uh, okay, I got my picture there. So let me show you here the Ethos IPA. I wanted to pour it all out. Sometimes I do these big beers in smaller glasses, you know, do. But I wanted to pour it all in a pint and see what we came up with. Oh, big aromas. It is huge. Oh, so now we got our, holy crap, <laughs> holy crap, I wasn't ready, man, now we got our popped and poured, holy crap, wow, that's growing, <laughs> I'm going to read from their website, holy crap, oh, wow, holy crap, 6.8%, uh, 110 IBUs, the beer foretold in legend, six types of hops are gathered from the corners of the world to make this legendary brew, this is no early brew, they will write ballads, build monuments, paint caves, and sacrifice goats to this beer. They will drink ethos and dance. To shake the heavens, the aroma is the harbinger of taste to come. Big, bright, and beautiful, this beer exceeds all expectations and grants. Which I have. Excuse me. <laughs> Twice dry hopped and brewed with the aid of a dark alliance from another realm. This beer destroyed. Oh, see, I got it carried away and I got the word. This beer bestows upon you all the complexity of the hops flavors without overwhelming your senses. Ethos IPA is a gift to you, beer mortals. Drink it and fulfill your destiny. Is it that good? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's good. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a better idea as I get a little further into it. Uh, <laughs> is it all hype? Is it a bit of arrogance? Probably. <laughs> but I guess I'll give them some points for trying. Um, 6, 8, 1, 10. Um, hmm. 6, 8, 1, 10. Sort of. Sort of West Coast numbers, I guess. Most West Coast IPAs start at 7, 7.5, go from anywhere between 80 and 100 IBUs. There are some exceptions. This one is 6, 8, 1, 10. It's kind of one of those uh, defies typical IPA styles. Uh, it's kind of what American craft beers do, though. I mean, they, they, it's, it's an IPA, I meaning an, an aggressively hopped ale at this point. That's all it means. Wow, this is very likable. Um, very, very resinous pine going on. You know, uh, typically you'll get a lot of citrus out of pine. This one is bigger on the pine. Huge pine. It just whaps you like walking through a forest, man. Uh, some strong peppery notes as well as you uh, generally get when you're using, when you, when you have, oh, excuse me, the, uh, the hops that denote a lot of pine will generally give you these peppery notes as well. And I burped right there. It was like I just bit into a freaking Christmas tree. I shit you not. Um, I'm not kidding, man. I would not lie you. I, I want to try this. It, uh, it just became available to me. Uh, just now, in fact, I saw it in a store yesterday, but I hadn't, I wasn't able to pick it up. But I did pick it up today. I mean, it just now became available to me. So I wanted to try it. I've heard about it for a couple weeks now, but this is the first time I've had the ability to buy it.
And I gotta say, wow, oh, I gotta say, wow, it runs about $10 or four pack cans. They do a can line. Um, I gotta tell you, um, if I'm buying cans, I do like the can lines that do these four pack 16 ounce cans. Of course, I understand if it's a 12 ounce six pack, you do get a few more ounces, but I do love to be able to pull off a four pint. A full pint, a full pint at home. I love to having that ability to to pour a full pint. So, anyways, um, I am going to do a second video for this. I, I just sometimes I do small glasses and I finish one, but this time I wanted to pour a big glass because I wanted it to to uh, to use my pint glass because when I have a full pint, I like to pour a full pint. And we'll see how this thing changes as it warms up. So I'll be back, man, just like Arnold. <laughs>